Hello, my name is Adam Gordon, entertainer at IT Pro TV. I'm here with a quick bite to discuss with you how to get the right answer to one of the questions on my weekly CISSP success quiz. We're focusing on the security assessment testing domain. And the question that we're going to talk about in this particular quick bite is number two on my list for the quiz. Several vendors have just released patches for vulnerabilities that affect your system. Which patch of the four that are listed would you deploy? And notice the keyword here, last, is, and I'm highlighting it in capitals, that indicates to you that that is the key to unlocking how you approach answering this question correctly. We'll quickly take a look at the four options. The right answer is C, uh, but vulnerability number one can give escalator privileges to the attacker. That is important. We would be very concerned about that, and that's probably one of the very first things we would look at applying a patch for, as opposed to one of the last. Remember, we're trying to see which would be the very last patch or vulnerability that we would apply a patch to. Vulnerability number two, answer B, easy to deploy, the attacker can script it. Again, that's probably something that we wanna be focused on and worried about in one of the very first patch cycles, not the last, because the fact the attacker can script it means it could be automated and could be very quickly used against us. Vulnerability number three, the right answer, requires physical access to the server to exploit, but gives the attacker full control. This gets a lot of people thinking, well, if it gives them full control, we should definitely mitigate, we should patch for that immediately. But the fact that you have to have physical access to the server in order to exploit this particular vulnerability means that it's very unlikely that most attackers will be able to do that successfully, unless a lot of other things in our organization are not working correctly. And a patch to fix that vulnerability is not gonna address those other concerns about allowing a bad actor a threat source to gain physical access. We'd have to look at other areas of our organizational infrastructure and our preparation and our physical security, not simply patching for this vulnerability. And finally, D, vulnerability number four is a data diddler. It could destroy the integrity of SQL databases. That's an issue. We definitely want to prioritize a patch for a vulnerability that potentially could impact SQL databases, especially if they're in production dealing with customer-centric and customer-facing data. So of the four, C now becomes the correct right answer because although potentially full control is a very, very significant issue, if a bad actor is able to achieve that in a system, the fact they require physical access to get to the server to exploit this vulnerability drops it down to the lowest level of the priority of the four that we're being asked to assess. That's how we get to the right answer for this question. Join me for another quick bite and we'll continue talking about ways in which you can become a CISSB success.